Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and today we're looking at a feature in Blender called Vertex Painting. Now, if you've done any texture mapping, this is very similar, but a lot easier to get started with. And the whole idea is, unlike a texture, a texture map, you're basically painting a picture that you're going to plaster on your 3D model. With Vertex Painting, you're actually painting your model. The, the color information that you're painting is actually being stored in the vertex data of the object you're actually painting on. Now, there's kind of two sides to this. First off, this means you do not need to UV map your object. You don't have to unwrap it in order to paste a texture on it because there is no texture, at least not initially. So you're just drawing directly on your object. However, you do need to have sufficient vertex data in order to make it, you know, work. You know, if you don't have enough canvas to actually paint on, you're not going to get great results. So I'm going to show you this feature in action. It's actually quite a, a quick way of getting started with texturing, or no, actually technically not texturing, but painting in 3D. So uh, first we're going to need an object in Blender to actually paint with. I'm going to switch over here to edit mode. Like so, and we're just going to give this guy a couple subdivisions so that we have uh, vertex information to go ahead and paint with. Now next up, we need to go in here to the uh, materials, uh, da, 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 right here, the material tab, and you scroll on down and there's this tab right here, vertex color paint and we want to click that guy on. And that's it, now we are ready to paint vertex information on this guy. Now the cool thing about the vertex painting is the, the, the data is stored inside of you know, the vertex object information. So when you export this out to FBX, for example, so you use it in uh, Max or Maya, it should preserve all the color information for you. You don't have external texture maps, you have nothing else, the data is there. However, the other side of that is, a lot of game engines don't directly support vertex colors. So it's gonna come down to if your game engine supports this functionality or not. But now that we're ready to set up for vertex color painting, uh, we just switch over here from edit mode into vertex paint mode. And if you've done texture painting, this is very, very similar, but uh, let's open up. So this is your tools menu on the side, T to toggle. And up here at the top, you've got your various different brushes. Generally, you'll use the draw brush, but you can you know, mix, uh, subtract colors, add colors, blur colors, etc. cetera. Uh, the same set of options can be configured right here as well. Uh, here is your color wheel where you pick which color to brush with. Here you can change the size of your brush the strength of your brush, and then you come down here, you've got a whole lot more options. You can come down here and actually uh, paint with a particular texture map, so we could actually use a source image as our underlying paintbrush. Uh, you can change the angle that you're drawing from, uh, your offset, your size, you can change your stroke size, space jittering, etc. So you've got a lot of control over your painting process here. Uh, you also can control the, the fall off curve, etc. of your painting. But we're going to stay pretty straightforward. We're just going to go with straight flat colors here. And then painting is literally like this. So we're just going to, you know, let's jack this guy up. We're going to make a very uh, blue cube all around like so. And let's say, for example, we were creating a blue and black dice. So it's colored on all sides pretty evenly. Let's switch our color over to black, jack our radius back down, strength up all the way. And now we're just going to put dice face on. So one, two, so this color information is not going to a texture map. It is literally just being painted directly on the object in the object data as we go. So we need a five. That's pretty off center. And we need a six. There you go. So there you just use vertex painting to create a dice with no texture mapping involved and we didn't have to unwrap this guy at all. None of that was involved. We literally just painted on our object. Now if you come on over here into the object data section of your selected object, you'll notice down here under vertex colors, this color guy was added. We can change the name or whatever if we want, but that is the color data. So for example, if we wanted to just get rid of everything we just did, Select it, click the minus sign, and boom, all the color information is gone. Now, I'm going to undo that because I don't. I want to keep my color information. And really, that's it. That is vertex painting in a nutshell. Now, what you might find on occasion, though, and you might want to use vertex painting as a getting started, but you go, all right, now I want to make this into a texture map. Well, don't worry. You can still do that quite simply, too. Now, the catch is you do have to UV unwrap in order to create this into a texture map. So that involves a couple steps. Now, first off, we need to have a UV image editor up. So we switch to the UV image editor right over here. And now what we want to do is go back over to edit mode here, select all of our faces, and we're just going to do an unwrap. We're going to do a follow active quads, which is, does a good job of un unmapping a cube like this into various different pieces, as you can see right here. Now what I want to do, scale that down, oops, select everything, oops, turn the caps lock back off, uh, and scale that down so we pretty much fit our reference grid. So our reference grid is up there, let's move that up. Scale that down. 
move that over and there. So there is our UV layout for obviously with a little bit of a gotcha. Uh, that's the one common edge where it was cut. Uh, but there is our UV unwrapped object for our cube. Now, obviously, if it was a more complex shape, there would have been more involved in that process. But now that we have a UV layout that we can go with, we can actually bake the information out from the vertex data to a texture map. And to do this, we come back over here, and this is a little convoluted. So there's a few things you gotta do. First off, you have to give it a target. So in the UV image editor, we're gonna create a new texture that it's going to bake to. Just come in here and go new, and okay, doesn't really matter what, we've got this texture in here that we're using, it's called untitled for now, but we have a new image that we've got as a target and it is selected. And we've also got our shape select, those are the two important things. Now you come on back here to your render window, like so, we're gonna have our 420 moment here, we go down here to bake. And what we wanna do is instead of doing a full render, pop down bake mode and choose vertex colors. And then just go ahead and click bake. And that's it. So what this has done, and you can't tell because everything is selected so the UVs are showing over top, switch over here to object mode. There you can see it baked out our image to a texture file. So if I actually went ahead, I could go ahead and save this guy. So save image as vertex color texture, I'll go down to my desktop. And there is the texture map we just created. So you can start with the vertex painting and turn it into a texture map later on down the road via baking as you saw right there. So, um, you know, it's, it's a limited tool in a lot of toolboxes, but if you're creating fairly simple art, if you want to get started really fast and you don't want to get into the UV editing um, or, you know, texture mapping, etc., you can definitely use vertex colors. And the cool thing is there is no texture map requirement. All of your information is stored together. So in some particular cases, that is going to be great for you. And if you do decide that you'd rather go, oh, wait, I'd rather work with the, um, you know, uh, uh, texture map sort of saw you saw here we can easily do an export out so this is one of those things it's a tool in your toolbox you may not use it all that much but i think it is handy to know about it uh, that is vertex painting in blender i hope you did find that useful if you did please do click like and if you're into all kinds of things game development related uh, please do click subscribe hopefully we've got lots to keep you interested all right that's it for now see you all later bye